Sean Sewell with Ingamer.com. Got a really fun kind of Mr. Wizard comparison here for you. We are going to compare Gore-Tex waterproof breathable technology to H-Dry. Now we have reviews on these Kuyu Yukon gloves separately, so this is not a review on any of these gloves. It's just simply curious how the technology works um, and what I can show you guys. So let's get into it. So what is the purpose of this video? Well, I'm just personally curious on how the Gore-Tex insert, the Gore-Tex membrane, looks and feels compared to the H-Dry laminate. So H-Dry is actually laminated to the material on the inner, so there's no need for an insert. So in theory, uh, there's no weak spot. There's no way for water to get in. There's no way for water to hang out in between the outer and the inner part of the glove. So it won't take on um, moisture and it won't be heavier because of the weight and potentially um, is more waterproof. On paper, H-Dry is 30K waterproof, 19K breathable. So 30K is exceptionally waterproof. And depending on your, on your sources, Gore-Tex is 25, 25 on the Gore-Tex regular, which this is. There's also the Gore-Tex Pro Shell, which is more breathable and more waterproof more like 28K, 28K, depending on the resources. Now, like I might've mentioned before, we've had Gore-Tex, the people who make Gore-Tex, on our podcast three times. We've tested 80 plus things that have Gore-Tex on our Engamer channel. You can see those reviews. Uh, I've worked with companies like Arcteryx and Patagonia and North Face prior to them having the Future Light on uh, Gore-Tex products. So we have a lot of experience with Gore-Tex, a lot of experience. H-Dry um, actually is from the people who developed OutDry. And OutDry we've used probably eight years ago with Columbia Gear and then Mountain Hardware, kind of the same company in a lot of ways. Um, so Kuyu embraced H-Dry. Some other companies in uh, Europe have embraced H-Dry. And it, um, from everything I've used it in, it's been really, really good. So I hate to do this because these are really, really good gloves, the Kuyu Yukon gloves, but I'm gonna try and cut into the glove right here, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the Gore-Tex glove to keep it consistent and just kind of see what we have on the inside. Oh, I don't like doing this. All in the name of science. Okay, so there is the inside of the OutDry right there. Um, I don't see an insert, so the claims of it being um, laminated make sense. I don't see anything moving back and forth in there. It's just a glove. But in my experience, it's been waterproof. As you can kind of see at the window here, that's why I'm shooting this video out here. It's over 10 inches of snow, and it's been snowing for uh, at least half a day, and it rained before that for several hours. So that's why we're shooting out here. Just give you some proof on conditions we use these things in. Now for the Gore-Tex. Okay, same thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it here and hopefully there's a membrane. If not, I will cut it. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna go right into the glove. Screw it. I'm just gonna go right into the glove right here because I, I know there's a membrane right there. So let's get into it, literally. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I did that. It's very obvious where the membrane is, uh, where, the, where the insert is. It's actually, I could, I could pull my finger on it right there. That's white. So that's the Gore-Tex. So that, that's a pretty substantial difference in the makeup of the gloves. There's the Gore-Tex membrane, well, the Gore-Tex insert, I should say. And in the H-Dry, there is no insert. It's just, like they said, 3D laminated into the glove. So. That's pretty remarkable. I've never seen anybody do that before. I was just really curious, and I hope I didn't ruin these gloves completely, but if I did, all in the name of Gamer viewers. So hopefully that shows you that the H-Dry is what it says it is. It's not a um, an insert. I mean, there's nothing floating in there at all. It's just straight up glove. And then very obviously with the Gore-Tex, it is that white part right there. <laughs> that is the insert. And so the, um, the discussion that people have with the Gore-Tex is obviously it is guaranteed waterproof, it is guaranteed breathable, I can attest to that, and windproof, but it is 
an insert that is kind of floating in between the outer material and the inner material. So, you know, even though it is, let's call it 28K, 28K waterproof breathable, the, there might be a little bit of resistance on the material for the breathability. And then also, in the happen chance that it might wet out past the DWR wearing down, then the argument there is it might um, add weight to the article of clothing, and then you'd have water potentially between the outer and the inner on the glove or the jacket or the shoes or the, the pants. Whereas with H-Dry technology, it's not happening because it can't get through. Um, and in my experience, it has not gone through. So pretty cool stuff. So there it is, H-Dry compared to Gore-Tex. And this is regular Gore-Tex, uh, not the Gore-Tex Pro Shell, but H-Dry, whatever H-Dry offers <laughs> right here, regular version, and Gore-Tex comparison of the physical mechanics of how it looks and operates. Hopefully this was a good, helpful video. If it was, thumbs up, be appreciated. If you want some more content from all the companies that include H-Dry, Gore-Tex, and all the waterproof technologies out there, then consider subscribing to our Gimmit YouTube channel. Link right there. Sean Sewell, Gimmit.com. Until next time, take care.